Come with me. Come with me in a journey in the next 12 months and uh, starting tonight as well as tomorrow, please come. And Monday night, we will be off. All right? So don't come here on Monday night. Tuesday night, hopefully all of you could come and that we can continue our journey together. I call this my journey with you in the first gospel of Matthew. Let me begin by saying, dearly beloved, you can live weeks without food, days without water, minutes without air, but hardly at all without hope. Would you agree? And I would like to define with you today what the hope what hope means all about. And in my study or in my journey, I find four meanings that struck out from the dictionary about hope. The first one is hope is the feeling. Hope feel, the feeling that events will turn out for the for the best. Do you have that situation where you feel that oh this will not work out right? But when you have hope, when you have that Hope in your heart, it's a feeling that events will turn out for the best. The second definition of hope is to look forward, meaning to say you are expecting something. To look forward with reasonable confidence. It's not blind confidence, but it's a reasonable confidence. The third one is to believe. Now this is a verb which means to really uh, believe in what you really believe. Desire or trust. And then the fourth definition that I find in the dictionary is this, a person or an event in which expectations are centered. And tonight, it's obvious that as a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, our hope is in the person of Jesus Christ. Amen? Jeremiah 29, verse 11. During the time when the, when the people of God were captives, Jeremiah, God through Jeremiah, sent a message to those people who are in captivity. And he spoke in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And I quote. For I know the plans that I have for you. Says, declares the Lord. Plans for peace. And not evil. To give you a future. And a hope. You know friends I would like to tell you tonight. That I believe in this, in this text. I claim this text every moment of my life. While I'm serving here in this area. That God desire peace and not evil. That He would like to, to give me a future and a hope. I was talking to some ladies who came earlier this evening around 6 o'clock. And they were asking me what, what this meeting is all about. And I told them some, you know, this is part of our program for our evangelism initiative. And I told them that God would like us to tell people what we really believe as some of the Adventist Christian based on the Word of God is true. And to tell people that God is interested to give them peace. Tonight, dearly beloved, do you need peace? Do you need a future to look forward to? Do you need hope in your heart? I do need hope in my life. And tonight, come with me in a journey. Tonight, come with me in this exploration of the Gospel of Matthew, the first Gospel in the New Testament. You might, be, you might be asking questions. Well, there are four Gospels in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And why did I choose Matthew, not Mark? My name is Mark, so I, I, should have, I could have chosen Mark, right? And according to many Bible students, Mark is the first um, witness of Jesus' life. And probably Matthew and Luke and John copied, or Matthew and Luke copied from the materials, uh, some materials from the Gospel of Mark. And so tonight, I would like to give you a very short, but uh, I want you to follow me closely as I try to bring you a snapshot of what the Gospel of Matthew is all about. You know, it's a joy, dearly beloved people of the Lord, people of faith. As I study every night, you know, every night my wife... Uh, my wife and I told my wife, be, uh, be ready when the alarm turns on around 3 o'clock. I, I wake up around 3 o'clock, and for two and a half hours, I will reread, reread what I'm going to say to you tonight. 
so that I will be able to absorb the message of the Gospel of Matthew, so that I will be sharing with you the purity of the Gospel of Matthew. And in a very snapshot, for, for how many weeks and months that I have been preparing, for a snapshot, I'll be giving you a bits and pieces of what Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew is all about. And I promise you that we'll be studying only the last few chapters, but I'll be giving you some snapshots tonight. If you are going, I'd like to challenge this church. For those of you who will read the Bible, I read the Gospel of Matthew for two and a half hours. 